Hello, everybody. And uh, my name is GameHacks2.0. I've done videos in the past, but I've made a whole new YouTube account dedicated to how to do things and to uh, use trainers and uh, hacks and mods that other people have built for your games that you play on your computer. Today is Jurassic Park Builder version 2.3 by Baron. I give all credit to Baron. So, what you want to do is you want to go to this link. I will have it in the description as you probably cannot see it in the video. And you want to download the Builder. Now, building after you download, you want to use an RAR extractor like WinZip, 7-Zip, something like that. But before you do, actually turn off your antivirus um, auto-protect if you're using Norton. If you're using anything else and it automatically deletes it, figure out where it came from and then turn that off or just turn your antivirus software off completely because it says it, that it's a virus but it actually isn't because of the programming that's inside of it. So, after you load in your game, okay, you want to minimize your page and you want to double click the Jurassic Park Builder version 2.3 and you want to pick your processor. Um, it mainly runs on Flash Flare plugin. If that one doesn't work, try one of the other ones from the list. But mine, I'm using Firefox, so it does run on Adobe Flash Flare. Now, for temp cache, the speed hack is not actually a hack. It just boosts your the speed by four times. But when you open it up, it automatically integrates that into your system, into the game itself. So you, you mainly want the temp cache. And before you can do that, the description says before you can enable you need to go and try to buy something that uses cash which is dino bucks so <clears throat> what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here into decorations it has to be a decoration or a building um, I usually use the razor because it's easier and it's right up front in the list so I as you can tell, I click on it. It wants me to buy Dino Bucks with real life cash. Not a lot of people have cash to spend, but really want all the stuff that you can use Dino Bucks for. So after that, you make sure that Temp Cash is highlighted and you click Enable and give it a couple of minutes and it'll enable. And you get this little screen that says Enabled. Now, if you get a screen that says Unable to Enable Hack or Enable the uh, Cheat, just uh, close down the program and start it up again. Now, as you can tell, uh, my Dino Bucks went from zero to nine 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 hundred ninety nine thousand nine hundred ninety two. Okay, so click on sell and sell the brazer. Now you can go into the market and you can do it anything you want. Um, as you can tell, I bought a lot of meat, uh, two hundred fifty thousand a pop, and I bought some cash. But I'm going to show you guys how that works too. But first, we're going to start with the dinosaur. Everybody, a pterodon. Um, the T Rex becomes available later on. It works with that too. You want to purchase the pterodon. Sell the Dilophosaurus. Sell the Triceratops. Now. When you click on speed up, as you can see, the time is winding down incredibly fast. Um, you can sit and just wait for it to automatically do it, or just click yes to use the two dino bucks. No, I do not want to share on my wall. Um, as you can tell, level four, I earned two dino bucks. Any dino bucks that you earn during using the temp cache adds into what you already have when you close down the web page or the program it will automatically set you back to zero down no bucks <clears throat> now as you can see right here where it, the collect is it the pterodons are cash is going up because of the initial speed Do not leave your uh, game unattended for too long. It will tell you service disconnect, which I will show that show you that in a moment. Evolve. 
Now, this is how fat, as you can tell, it goes a lot faster than normal. Uh, this is a great way to get XP, and you can use the Dino Bucks to speed the process along, which is fairly easy and provides an extra wa more ways to acquire the dinosaurs that you want. Um, if there's a promo dinosaur that's coming out that you would like to get, say um, a Megalodon, Titanoboa, um, anything like that, you can do that. And proceed to the evolution again. As you can tell, you can sit and max out all your dinosaurs, and you can also clear out every piece of the part that there is. Expand. Now, as you can see, it's winding down real fast, but I'm going to boost it ahead. Yeah, 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 whatever. Give me the XP. Okay. Now you can click on it. Now watch how fast the bar fills up. Just like it did when you first actually started the game and you had to clear that first piece of grass. Ah, a piece of ember. Start the coding later. Now, I used up all the pieces that I could. It wants to use Dino Books. Okay, why not? Yes, unlock expansion for it. You can, uh, if you come in here and there's something that you want to unlock, like say the Purple Kyat or the Psy Cat or whatever it is, click on Unlock. Now, it doesn't look like it's unlocked, but if you click on Dinosaurs or on Buildings and go down, there it is. It's unlocked. Then you can purchase it. And stick it anywhere you want. So, I'm going to decode this dino really quick. And it was a raptor. Go to the market. Now, the T Rex isn't available yet. Um, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause it and I'm going to unlock the T Rex real quick. I'll be right back. Hello again everybody, uh, and I'm back. I've got the T-Rex unlocked and a couple of other ones that use Dino Bucks. So, what you want to do is you want to scroll through them. The Pterodon I had, which I sold. Didn't really want that in here at the moment. As you can see, all the ember that I have found by clearing out the forest. There's the Brontosaurus. A Stegosaurus. And everybody's favorite, the Tyrannosaurus Rex. So. Everybody, you know, does like the T-Rex. So, getting it in a Brontosaurus and a Stegosaurus. And as you can see in the small amount of forest that I'm about to show you that I cleared out, I did jump up quite a few levels. I've unlocked the uh, water park, the aquatic one. As you can see, I cleared quite a bit of it to find the T-Rex. That's mostly all you need to do. You can clear out the entire section to gain all the XP. Um, <clears throat> every time you level up, you get... New items you can buy. Um, broadcast hub. Speed up. 420 XP for every one of those you build. Um, 
Also, if you haven't noticed, um, if you're using Dino Bucks to buy money every time you level up, this number right here for the one that's 250 goes up. Now, I explained to you earlier, um, I believe, if I didn't, I'm going to explain it again. If you leave your game unattended for too long, it will tell you that it is um, disconnected from the server and makes you reboot it occasionally. It will freeze. So, if you go to go to one of the other parks, um, as it's loading and it'll tell you 0, 0.00 megabytes out of 26, just sit there and click on it every thirty, every 10 to 20 seconds so that it uh, doesn't log you out because it will tell you that. I'm going to let it go here for a little bit and see if it'll do it because I do know that it does do it. And there you go. Uh, your current session has expired. Please refresh the browser to continue playing. Uh, when you do, all your progress is already saved, um, since you already know that. So thank you for watching. As I said, with the speed hack, um, it's already got one involved. Um, it's called a hack, but it's really not. As you can see, Trainers and Mods by Baron, it is... Um, there is a video tutorial for it, but I give you a more in-depth on how to do it and some things to watch out for. So, I hope you enjoy using it. Um, I do. I have a main profile that I created a fake Facebook page just to build one completely out. I created a second one just to show you guys how to do it. Um... Temporary dinosaurs um, for the promos that you can only get for 72 hours. Uh, you can use it to speed up acceleration for uh, finding uh, DNA pieces for the aquatic and the glacial park for the expeditions. And you can automatically just purchase the dinosaur and start leveling it up as fast as you want. Um, not many people know about this. I see people that are complaining about their parks being reset and the, all the money that they spent. That's fine. Um, don't play the tournaments. That's what the bug. That's what causes the bug and causes your game to start all over the battle arena. I have no problem with. Um, so just enjoy the video and enjoy playing Jurassic Park with unlimited Dino Bucks. Um, it sucks having to spend real cash for Dino Bucks. That's why I showed you guys how to make this video. Uh, have a nice day.